My name is Emily Brand and I'm one of the lawyers here and I wanted to take a couple of minutes to answer some frequently asked questions that we see on our website. I'm going to read the question to you and then I'm going to provide my response. The first question I have is, I'm involved in a lawsuit resulting from a car accident where I suffered a traumatic brain injury. It seems like every week I am sent more medical authorization forms from the insurance company and their attorneys so they can obtain medical records from the doctors that are treating me now and virtually every doctor I've ever seen. I feel like my privacy rights are being abused. Is there anything I can do to stop this? Well, to this frequently asked question, I have to respond. I hear this often from my clients. My clients constantly complain that they feel like their entire life is on display and they don't feel like it's fair. These are all very valid concerns and feelings that my clients have. The problem that we run into with these happens once we've filed a lawsuit. So once we're in litigation, this is when this, this issue presents itself. Um, the reason is, once we file a lawsuit, we provide a subpoena power to ourselves and to the other attorney that's on the other side of the case, representing the insurance company and the driver that hit you. The problem is, a lot of these defense attorneys that represent the drivers and the insurance companies, they issue these broadly worded subpoena duces tecums, that's what they're called in Virginia, and that simply means a subpoena with records. So they're issuing a subpoena to collect medical records related to you. Sometimes they'll write these blanket subpoenas that cover everything under the sun. And if you have a seasoned personal injury attorney like the attorneys in my firm, we take the time to review every single subpoena that comes through our office directed towards our client's medical history. There are rules that govern what these lawyers can obtain. They can't obtain everything, and it certainly isn't fair for you as the plaintiff to expect your mental health records from 20 years ago to come into play in a car wreck case where you're complaining of back pain. It's just not fair. If you have a seasoned attorney, one who knows what they're doing, they're going to take the time to fight this battle. And I can't tell you how many Fridays of my, di my life are spent down at the courthouse arguing this very point. It's simply a fishing expedition. Other attorneys are trying to get everything they can to poke holes in your case, and that is not fair, and the rules don't allow that to happen. Now, certain times, judges will rule against us, but as a general proposition, the records that these attorneys can obtain should be related to the injuries you're claiming in the instant case, in the rec that brings you to the litigation now. So if you have an attorney and you feel like many of the requests that are being sent to you are broad and covering things that aren't related, you should, you should definitely demonstrate that concern to your attorney. And certainly if you're represented by this firm, you don't have to worry because we as personal injury lawyers, lawyers take a lot of pride in making sure we do our job as best as we can. And part of that means going through all of the documents we receive related to our clients with a fine tooth comb. And that's what we do.